I'm reviewing JG Aurora Perusa i3 3D printer. This is the self assembly printer. The first thing I'd like to point out is they give you an SD card with a um, SD card reader. So you can just plug it into your, your PC's USB and it'll have documents here um, of assembly with photographs but more importantly it has assembly videos so it will actually take you step by step if you are nervous about building a 3D printer by yourself they're very good about going step by step on where wires are connected as well as the software that's pr provided the Cura and how to install it. It also has um, the USB driver that you can download and that way you can connect it straight to your PC like I have done. One of the most important things to do before you start your printing is making sure that the hotbed is level and that there's the right distance between the nozzle and the hotbed. Now what you're looking for is the nozzle to be able to touch the top of the paper but not drag it or damage it. So that way that you know that there's enough space for the filament to come out but not too much for it to not be able to stick to the hotbed. I also like to use a level itself. Getting started, you're gonna push the knob and then you can turn it. I'm gonna go to preheat ABS, which is the filament that I'm using, although I prefer PLA. So now it's going to start preheating. As you can see, it's already increasing. Now this is going to preheat to the printer's standard. So you can adjust the heating of the nozzle and the hotbed through Cura. Now once the nozzle is preheated, you can load your filament. I recommend keeping a small Allen's wrench with you that will fit the screws and a pair of dikes or something to cut the filament. Your next step is, this is your little screw, it's kind of a push lock screw here and there's a hole that is directly in front of it. That is where you are going to set your filament. You're going to push this down and hold it down. Take your filament and insert it. Now you're going to keep pushing it until you start seeing it melting and coming out of the nozzle. If it does not look like this where you're able to push it out literally, then either you don't have it in far enough or there is something preventing you from pushing it through like some filament that is already stuck. In which case you will have to take apart the extruder. Okay, with everything preheated, I can go ahead and print. Now, if you're using an SD card, this will actually have an SD symbol and we'll say print to SD. It's gonna open the serial port It'll show the current temperature and the bed temperature. You'll hit print. It'll say printing. And if you look at your LCD screen, it'll say heating, because it's going to begin to heat to the temperature that you have set up in your Cura settings. So the nozzle's ready. You'll see the heating change to bed heating. 
And once the bed is heated, you'll start to see your motion. Currently have it on change filament. This is my first 3D printer, so everything is very trial and error for me when it comes to filament and um, 3D structures. So it looks overwhelming, especially when you get it initially, when it's just the frame and just a bunch of uh, screws and nuts and bolts and, and rods and everything. But, uh, but it, if I can do it, then someone who is advanced, it'll be a breeze for them. I hope that this gives you a better idea of their product. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.